all day? What? No, 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 no. How many of those? He got two. Okay, he's played two of them. Now, is he milk? Play one more. Okay. I mean, we should have him still. This still gets blocked. One more bonus attack will... No. No, did we get tell him? Let's go. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today, I'm super excited to show you one of the decks that carried me through at least the beginning parts of the tournament. Uh, this is the Grass Knuckles Bullseye Aggro. I've used a lot of different versions of this, and this is the one I'm landing on. I actually never used this exact deck list um, in, the, in the tournament, but I think this is, uh, in general, especially for rank mode, going to be the best. Now, uh, the idea, you have the Guardian package. So we're running Forget-Me-Nuts, Galacta, Photosynthesizer, and Triceratop. These are the uh, heart and soul of the, I call it Guardian package because they're just so good together. If you play Forget-Me-Nuts on one, then you have an option of playing another one drop plus a photosynthesizer on two. You also have the root wall power, which not only protects your Forget-Me-Nuts that turn, also gives it a base of three health. So since we have root wall to protect it and we have four photosynthesizers, uh, this synergy does not uh, play that big of a factor. Again, every once in a while you'll get screwed because you only have Galacta and Forget-Me-Nuts and no photosynthesizers, but it's consistent enough to be able to worth run both because these are really the two uh, best cards you can be running in the one slot in a deck like this. Forget-Me-Nuts, it just absolutely dominates any deck that relies on tricks, especially, again, if you can get it beyond that one health uh, breakpoint, and uh, the this is just so much damage. It's just so much bullseye. It's just absolutely broken card. You can also stick this in front of like an aerobics instructor, a 2-3, something that you really need to remove. And this trades against two drops. This is a just ridiculously great card. Now, running the click beep, this is such an underrated card. Not only um, is this, this is wins a trade against any one drop your opponent plays, basically. Like, well, even if they play like a cheese cutter and you play this, so it's a one for one, but you get a whole bunch of two cost three threes in your deck which is absolutely busted uh so this actually wins trades and if you get two in your starting hand i mean you just get so far ahead getting two three threes on two on turn two uh provide even just one three three on turn two uh it's just so good so uh we also need to run three priests piece so i'm running sting bean and black ip in order to be bases for the uh gatling bean. now sting bean looks a little bit weak but it does add again Free bullseye damage, add something in the water, it's a difficult card to remove, and then getting an amphibious Gatling is just so good. I've won so many games uh, in this tournament, actually, just with uh, Sting Bean. It just sat there, it didn't, you know, it did a little bit of damage, like doing four or five bullseye damages. Uh, it really racks up over the turns and then just sets up this uh, this Gatling fleet really, really well. Uh, I'm running Black IP instead of Juggernaut, first of all, because you need a third uh, P in order to, I don't know if I said Bean before, but a third P in order to. Um, Activate your Gatling P's ability. It's an extremely strong finisher. I really just anyway, even without Gatling P, would run Black IP instead of Juggernaut. Even the Juggernaut by itself, without any, you know, it does bullseye damage, so it's a little bit better. But, you know, if they play one trick, this is already a two cost three four, which is better, way better than the Juggernaut. This just messes, especially if you don't get Black IP and you're against some kind of control deck. I mean, this just messes up in Mortician, Brainstorm, and even like Z-Max. Sometimes this just really, really messes them up. All right, so uh, running Triceratops, of course, really, really good photosynthesizer. Just turn one, forget me now, it's turn two Triceratops. You're going to get ahead by turn three. You're not running any three drops. On turn three, you're playing a combo. We have more than enough ones, twos, and threes, and especially with, again, uh, your superpower. Holo Floor can be played on three with Triceratops, which is nice, or even Root Wall. Um, sometimes Pummel's available on 3, so you have more than enough options for turn 3 in this deck. Now, um, I, in, mostly in the tournament, I was just going with 4 uh, Bananasaurus Rex. I've really become way more fond of Blockbuster because, again, I, I think Pogo Mug Yeti is really, like, <laughs> really one of the strongest things the, um, the, the zombies can do, uh, you know, starting on turn 4. There's even a lot of weird decks, and I've gotten good Blockbusters, just like playing it on a like a loudmouth imp or a uh or a um a a jester just on turn three like sometimes you can just or even just busting a teleportation zombie there's sometimes you just cover one of your one drops and actually get some good value out of this um it's not a dead card too because again if you're ahead by turn three which you almost always are in this deck you have a, a four to five forget me nuts and a triceratops it's like a three five playing a four cost three three bullseye just to, as a win more just to keep that momentum 
going before you finish them off with plan for the gatling plea is actually worth it so this is even against a deck that runs zero gravestones i've actually had a lot of success uh with this i even won a tournament match because i played this on four and the opponent gargmech i was forced to to fruitcake this because it couldn't do three damage otherwise he needed his aerobics instructor whatever he played that turn to live and then he just didn't have a fruitcake available for something else so i again just experience has told me i'm running two you can run four i seriously could cut two more banana stars rex let's run more of these gatling piece the big finisher you can play this dry if they overcommit. If not, you get a free 5 damage on one of your P's. Nothing left to say about this deck. This has just been absolutely, uh, really, really reliable. But try it. That's all I gotta say. We're gonna be trying 10 games right now. If you think this deck will go at least 8-2, I'm almost tempted to do the 9-1 right now. But that went terribly wrong. If you think this deck will go 8-2, vote yes. And if not, should I go for the 9-1? Okay, guys, I'm going for the 9-1. If you think this deck, we're changing the votes, guys. If this deck has to win 9 out of 10 games for yes, 8 and 2 is going to be a loss. It's going to be a no today. We're getting cocky once again. You'll get rid of the blockbuster for sure against him. Um, this is extremely good. I think I'm going to look for one more early game card. This is fine again. Okay, It's okay to have that though. This is alright. The photosynthesizer protecting the forget-me-nuts. Uh, it's not as good against exactly Smash. I think depending on the matchup, I'll probably get a good rumble in terms of removing minions. If you can get it, doing six damage is not terrible, though. Anyway. Uh, so the Sting Bean is actually better. One Bullseye is, is it, I think, is going to be better. This will also, you want to play this the turn that's possible for them to play a trick. So they, you know, they get less value. Like, if he plays, let's say, a one-drop here, and then he wanted to Rolling Stone, this will deny it. It'll, it'll slow him down. Rather than playing this now then he kind of knows so he's not gonna commit for obviously a dead rolling stone um this is a really good rumble i mean this is <laughs> from freaking hell so it completely obliterates everything he's done uh, and this will play around rolling stone and next turn we're actually gonna have a black ip so like you can't weed spray which one are you gonna rolling stone the ones denying you tricks or the one that's gonna grow to a two cost three four so these two cards actually synergize more than they seem Yeah, so I'm going for, yeah, we're going for the nine one today. Okay, welcome, guys. Jerryville's, hello. Do you, all subscribers get to join the Discord? Yes, just got to follow the instructions. We have a Discord command for that. But all subscribers do join the community Discord. So we're going to grow this first. Might as well see what we get out of this, even though Black IP looks awfully good. Wow. Oh, he can't play a trick either. He can play his guard, his super. Did he play a superpower? Okay, this been this is so good. If he has exactly his guard, that will actually cause zero still. It's minus two plus one. One minus two plus one is still zero. But we really want to deny him the guard. I think this is good enough. I'm actually gonna buff this one because this might get smashed here. But I have to go for the banana bomb. I I think this is good enough. It, again, it's a 1 in 4 of him having a smash super. He didn't use a superpower. He obviously can't galvanize. We're not worried about that at all. So that banana bomb top deck. Holy moly with that. The photosynthesize with the cards you get, I just find they're... Again, it's from a good set. It's from the Galacta. I just find that they, they end up filling niches and we got him, boys. <laughs> so lucky. So lucky. Let's go. It's probably just going to be Bananasaurus Rex. It's just going to be a nightmare for him to deal with all this. We ha we're having him down first three turns doing seven, and he has a relatively empty block meter. Let let's go. This bullseye damage. Definitely racking it up. The plant food is really interesting here. Do we go for six damage to face, or do, do we go for three damage to face and keep a 3-2 on the field? This will be a 4-4 four -four next turn. He's probably playing Garg, so probably developing this early. I mean, he played a Gargologist, so turn 5 is usually just going to be a Garg. I think I'm just going to develop this. I hope that's not a mistake. It can go either way. The, the, this plan food will probably... Like, right now, it depends what he plays. Uh, I'm just saying, if he plays like a 5-7, but if he plays a Hippity Hop Garg, then the plan food kills it. No, it can't be Hippity Hop. That's crazy. So it has to be Frank Guitar. Oh, Smash Jam. I don't know what I'm actually... I feel like a dry guard here is actually a little bit sad. Yes! So much value, bro. 
get wrecked. This actually gets beyond his smash power too, so that is completely negated. I'm going to try to proc the block with the two so these fives are open. This could just be lethal right here. He can't play a trick, and if the smash power doesn't help, he actually needs to get heal or he loses. Smash doesn't help. His best superpower is gone. No, get real freaking <laughs> Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You'll notice I'm playing this deck a little bit more tryhardy right now because I'm trying to. I'm going. I'm going for best grass knuckles game. Best grass knuckles deck in Fusey Heroes here. So. La 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 la. What should you vote for? I can't guarantee anything. Again, that Citron deck we went. We did the nine and one bet on that. We did end up going eight and two, but the deck performed so well. I mean, come on. Good. <laughs> was plenty of good Ooh, we have a, I mean we have three early game cards this will be fine I'll, I'll just keep this in we'll probably draw into something that costs one or two because that's most of our decks so that'll fill out this turn three hey Fry, can we see you try a double mint pumpkin deck it could be an interesting idea and give you an excuse to use double mint oh you mean the the, the three costs two for um, evolution pumpkin the problem is, is that when the moment you play that, that, that it can get removed. That's interesting. I mean, we can do it as a meme. I, I just, I don't like investing two cards into one like that unless you get immediate value. The double mint doesn't even give you immediate value. That turn, it's actually a really poor upgrade. So the Triceratops wants to go on the ground. I think I'm just going to play this on heights. Maybe I do play this on the ground, though. So I have options to the left and the right. Yeah, I'll play this in two. I just want block meter options. We have plenty of ground lanes to play our our, uh, our minions. We don't want to get alienists, so we didn't answer that. Now we have two cost three threes in our deck. Oh my gosh! Get freaking right. Every once in a while, again, I don't know what the percentage on this is, but every once in a while, this just wins you the PVZ Heroes game. It's so strong. So this is either going to be a sumo, a click P. Sorry, a sumo, a rat, or a squirrel. So it's got to be a sumo. This doesn't matter. I don't think this matters at all, right? I don't think this matters at all. Because it can always decide whether or not it trades or not. Now we have three, four. Uh, this is so... Uh, <laughs> Just add Black IP and Click P to Guardian Package. And like, what the... What the actual hell is this guy supposed to do? Yay. If anything, Hardy is better. Look at all of our ones and twos dies to Hardy. If anything, Hardy's the scary one. I'm not afraid of crazy with with uh, with photosynthesizer and black IP and forgiveness. What is what is it? He went you gave me face? Oh my gosh. I don't actually even know is which one of these is better. I think the okay. He's probably not playing more than one trick here, so. Uh, this is the easiest one to remove. I'm actually, gonna buff one of these. I think. I think I'm gonna buff this one. The black IP. Ah, uh, that's tough. These are. This is close actually. I think the Triceratops is slightly better. Rolling Stones that. But that's his turn now. He can't do anything else. Still have a 3 3 and a 3 5. Okay, nice nibble, bro. Should have nibbled this one because this one's probably hitting his turn. Unless he's planning on aliens in the next turn. Yeah, he would have had one more health here. He had nibbled this one. Hey, was I supposed to mark down a win or something? What, what was I about to mark down? Some idea? What was that deck idea I was supposed to write down just now? The man is spacing out. I, I think we go phase here. This guy's just too slow. I'll look up in the chat. Did someone just give me a deck idea with this right there? The man has 72 stars with a grinder. It's because when I was, you know, preparing the tournament decks, besides for preparing them with my prep partner, uh, Hussein, 
Same in PBZ. I also um, played in ranked. I feel like playing a deck in ranked can show you expose its weaknesses since you're playing against such a big variety of decks. Get wrecked! Guaranteed lethal. <laughs> I have such a good play even without this Gatling. That's, just... we're, we're... that's two or that's two, right? Am I three and zero? Oh? Wait. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to cheat. Let's go. Hey, someone donated on YouTube. Why is the chat not on? What the hell? <sighs> if you're worried about plane control, which I, I don't think I've seen plane control even once in rank, but if you're worried about that, you run four blockbusters. Easy. You're the one who was complaining about blockbuster, and now you're saying, it does feel badly to play control. <laughs> like, make up your freaking mind, bro. It's 2-0? Oh, okay. It, it's very likely, again, it depends who my opponent would be, but in a tournament deck against someone who runs any, you know, any Neptune or Brain Freeze decks, I, I probably would go for Blockbusters. Why are some of the guys so intent and like, oh, these decks aren't as... You haven't tried it yet. Test it, man. I've, I've played this deck. I've tested this, like... This concept, again, it's maybe a few cards off, but I've tested this hundreds of... This is actually pretty good against lock-in, so against the brain freeze version. It wasn't really able to control that well. What do I do here? Is this good? I can't tell if the sand is good. just don't want to get weed sprayed really badly. I think I'm playing this on ground. You usually want your these ones to get on height so they get like beyond the rolling stone range. We also have super in our hands. We just have to really watch out for that weed spray right now. Okay, I think that's alright. Is catch a mechanic really this week's card? Oh, okay, I'll show you guys the rose deck soon. That'll be in like two days. How's this deck different from a normally grass knuckles deck? Uh, the four photosynthesizers and four um gap and four Galactas and four forget me nots. I feel like that's the main distinguishing factor. Let's we'll see if this guy has the uh I guess this one will go on heights. See if he has the rolling stone here. It's really, really strong. No, he doesn't have one. It's lost a little health. I'm probably actually gonna commit the super. Maybe I should have played this on ground. Whoopsies! Chorus played on ground. It's so much better. Oh no, this is a 2 3. Okay, we're alright. He's probably gonna play a leap here. I think I do this on curve. Because we're not gonna have another chance to play this until turn 6, so I think this is alright. Oh, maybe he is gonna weed spray. Uh, no, he didn't have it. So, yeah. The trades, man. He plays a gravestone. I can, uh, I can, I'll, I'll spend the blockbuster to trade with the gravestone. Why not? Instead of losing the trade, I'll, I'll trade my small card and then have a three-three. I'm just thinking, would Rumble have been good? The Rumble would not have been worth it. I'm happy Rumble. Play a gravestone. This is fine. This is probably a good example. This is gonna actually do plenty of damage here. So. Just play a 4 cost 3 3 bullseye. It's just, and then next turn he's gonna have to deal with the Gatling. It's just gonna do some damage here. See, has like a flick. Going viral. Nice! So this one still trades. It gets a 3 1. Uh, maybe I should play around weeds. It's possible. Oh man, I hope he really commits here. <laughs> Now he goes to the gravestone. Thanks a lot, bro. Bro. Has he, he's shown us a superpower. He doesn't have chop. This has to be like a, a teleportation zombie for him to be able to answer this. So it is. And even then, though, I mean, if he has a rocket, I mean, he has it. All right. This, this game. We actually win the trade with the teleportation zombie. This was a little bit weird placement here. I, like, we like, I mean, I guess he's just trying to control us. Cause... We're scary. We can get the free five here. This just ends up... Being, I mean, he already used a rocket. He does only have three cards in hand. 
I, I think this is good enough. It's also, again, he can't use his teleportation zombie to defend us, so he just has to have a second rocket. He for sure does not have a chop in hand. He has three cards. I think we're fine here. There's Trickster. Whoa, he's doing a lot of damage here, bro. The block, please, on the six. No, so now we lose. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. The, the blocks absolutely screwed us here, but he got us. We're done. Oh, all right. That was our one loss. Damn. That trickster came in fast. I guess it was turn six. It wasn't even that fast. Play four tricks. Bro. See, really, reasonably, we should have blocked that second trickster and then had guaranteed lethal with that time to shine. Yeah, that would have been guaranteed. Unluckies. I'll get rid of this against a Morticia. Not worried about the light like, green gravestones. I definitely don't need another Galacto. I'm keeping this, though. Oh, my. Look at this hand. I have to keep this. I don't know which one I'm committing first. I think if he plays a minion, I go with this. I mean, this is just so easily answered. This might be the the rare time where I don't actually play Click P on turn one when I have a second one in hand. I know this is insane, but this is going to be better. I'm going to play Click P and then protect this next turn, deny all this value, and then get the two three threes on turn on turn two. I'm pretty sure this is better. Watch him commit a. Uh... I can actually go for this play now. Look how <laughs> I'll just go double Click P. I'll just go double click me next turn. These are this is a uh, Immortisha, a trick Immortisha deck can't deal with this crap, man. He can play three cost nibble next turn. We're getting two three threes on turn three. It's basically like like a pine clone play on three. <laughs> oh my god, we have black eyed P also. I I'll go for this now. I maybe playing this is still better. Is this still better? Is this still better this turn? Because oh, and it's got to be Nibble or Summoning, so we'll have a 3-4, and then we'll just play this next turn. It's the same amount of damage. In fact, we should have played the Click P here. Uh, <laughs> I think this is actually better than play this next It's going to be Nibble, Summoning, or Bats in one. That's the only thing our opponent can do here. Or just pass and call it a day. Uh, <laughs> okay, never mind. I failed. Whoops. It was evaporate. I feel so bad. <laughs> it has to be evaporate. You definitely play acid rain there. Right? You're not gonna play it this next turn for three. I still haven't played the second click B. I feel bad. I think I let that die. If our opponent plays a trick this turn, this still survives. <laughs> Nibble that bitch. What is he? What is gonna okay, there's the acid rain from last turn. Congratulations. Oh no! The trades! The trades! Here comes the bats. Here we go. Damn, this man's getting back into this game. No. Oh, so that was acid rain. That was wait. Oh, acid rain was the starting power. Evaporate bats. Why would you not play bats or summoning there? I'm so very confused. Here comes the money. Is this guaranteed lethal? <laughs> oh, you... Yeah, yeah, you betcha. <laughs> guaranteed. Got him. Even if he had two brains left, it would be guaranteed because he can't play a trick. Unless he has like a... I don't even know what. So much damage! <laughs> I will most definitely take it. Cheese cutter is very, very good, right? Usually Baron Dogwalker. Yo yo. What's with you? Who pissed your coffee today, boy? Come on, man. You don't know if it's good until you try it. I know you haven't tried cheese cutter in a deck. That's the way you're talking. You can see how good it is, bro. There's no way you tried it and you're being this. This is sillies. This is so good against Brainstorm, man. We'll, we'll draw into our curve, no worries. If I had a photosynthesizer, by the way, I would keep the Galacta, but once we found it, you just mulligan it away. It's easy enough to make this not anti-synergy in it, so... Yay, okay, well, it's another path deck, let's go. Uh, Barrel would be really, really good here, because it, 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 like... 
<laughs> it two for ones this basically. La, 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 la. Oh my god. Against Path, I think I do this. Um I mean the only thing he can play is Bungie. No, I'm I'm gonna I'll I'll well no, I can play both of these. Yes, yeah, screw it. I mean we're playing into barrel. Into fireworks. Fireworks zombie will kick our ass here. This is... Oh, hi. With League Chat. I feel like you guys should at least try the cards I play after I won this tournament. Like, I won in a competitive setting. Using Cheese Cutter. Using Brainana. Just like... <laughs> isn't that at least... I'm not saying that proves it's good. I'm saying, shouldn't that at least warrant that you're gonna at least try? That's all I'm saying. Mind playing this thing bean. So one bullseye again in the water, opening up the water lane in a deck like this is good. Plus it's a um it's a base for an amphibious Gatling P. You need a third a third a third P for Gatling P to be optimized, we'll say. This is fine. The only time Dog Walker, in my opinion, is better than Cheese Cutter is against Haunted Pumpkin, because in my opinion, that's the only one drop that you don't front Cheese Cutter with. I really can't think of another one drop that you would go face. And it's not necessarily because four damage is better than two and draw a card. Very often that one card will end up being way better than the extra two damage that turn. Especially if you have an answer to the pumpkin the next turn. You gotta, you know, be good with that. I think we, we were winning this trade enough here and two to, um... Like, what if we went two, two, four, I don't know, this is fine. Three and one. Just thinking about lethal. I think this is good enough to stay alive here. Ag again, yeah, Agro Solar Flare would be a, a definitely a deck where if they played cheese on one, just go pumpkin. I don't know if you had a Blooming Heart though. I think a Blooming Heart I would still put in front of the cheese because if they get one nibble, <laughs> they're so done. Oh, look at this guy. So he answered that. We can actually time to shine this down. So it doesn't trade. That would be probably worth it to preserve a three growing three three bulls there. Let's see though. This should be fine already. Let's see what else we get. Gatling? Oh boy. Oh, against a pass play, we're gonna dominate here. Survey says, no nope. Buster. Come on, man. I, I think I just um this is a little bit sad, but I think I just overcommit here. And we'll just try to rely on this. Nice we block the and he actually can't play a trick, so he'll draw an extra card. We're, we're kill, getting killed in card advantage here, though. That's fine. We're doing five. Opponents down to four with an empty block meter. This is actually not an easy game to win anymore. A plant food or a gatling would get us a long way. A photosynthesizer would also be good, because they'll draw us another card and buff the dinosaur. Uh, this is not that easy. <laughs> four gatlings. For the win? For the win! <laughs> I think a different opponent would have played around that, but even then, I mean, killing what he has here, that's right, I don't know, if this Gravestone costs four, then we would win, otherwise get fruit cake. Okay, that was a close one. I don't think four Sting Beans is too much, because again, it's it's not just an amphibious minion, even on the ground, adding one Bullseye is okay, but it also, again, works with the, the Gatling. I don't think it's too much. You could run three. I, I would definitely, if you had a better replacement for this, take one out and run a Juggernaut instead. I think that's legit. You'll have enough. Again, Gatling can go dry, so you don't need that many beans. I, I think that's legit. Take out a Sting Bean, or or two, because you have two other bean, uh, other peas in this deck, and run two, two Juggernauts. I, I like it. I just find that the, 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 the Sting Bean wins me a lot of games. It's a it's better card than it looks. It looks like a terrible stats, but... The Amphibious is the key. I'll even mulligan it here. This should be okay. Let's see if he has an answer to that. Again, if you play Cheese Cutter, I front it. You can't, you can't let that get off the hook. It's possible in a purely aggro deck, Blooming Heart goes face against Cheese. I, I'm not, I said I'm not sure. Did he use Bungie? He used Bungie or Super? He used Bungie, right? 
I'm just thinking about this, man. I'm thinking about a superpower. Like, which one? Well, no, we can use the... Pro okay. Okay, creative time. I'm doing the... I'm using the root wall. It's so weird. Because now... His lightning bolt doesn't kill this. His fruitcake costs a little bit too much next turn. I think we're okay here. I wonder if I just buff this again because fruitcake is gonna hit the triceratops. I don't actually know which one. Which one gets hit? Oh my god! We're always playing dinosaur first. Fruitcake. I, well, if we buff this, a fruitcake hits this. Maybe we just force him to keep the dinosaur alive. This is so weird, but I'm buffing this one. This gets a Beyond Lightning Bolt. He can still... No, he can't play Lightning Bolt Bunchy. No. He can play Lightning Bolt Trapper Territory now. We didn't play... No! No! He doesn't... Oh, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> he doesn't have Lightning Bolt. He has Evaporate. That's a good play for Evaporate next turn. But then, what? It's too slow. That's going to cost two out of four brains. And we're playing Bananasaurus Rex, man. I'm definitely not going to play this environment because... Um... He's probably, he almost 100% has Evaporate here. Let's see his backup dancers. Four cost wrath, okay. Okay. This is giving us so much value. It's slowing him down so much. Let's go. It's not cheating if you help a streamer. If you help a guy in a tournament, uh... <laughs> we, can we can discuss that. I think two minions is better. This splash damage is not really gonna matter here. So uh let's go with the let's go with the double here. That having one guy that just dies to one he can only play one fruit cake though, man. This guy so dumb. He can play evaporate fruit cake would be a, a decent Evaporate fruit cake is the play. <laughs> and he has to fruit cake the B-Rex. Ain't no choice. That one. See, on the block, he can get Bolt. You're right. So, ah, so maybe this was better because this is a block turn and he doesn't have Lightning Bolt in the hand. I mean, we know that already. Now, which one do you Lightning Bolt? This, okay, the two for one, cool. Ah, uh, all right. It could be Gatling really was better though, guys. Do we still have this though? <laughs> it's gotta be Gatling. For the win, <laughs> for the guaranteed win. <laughs> Can't play a trick. No, he's done. You're done, Mister. No nibble for you. Nibble, would nibble even help there? No. no. Probably that's guaranteed. I'm just trying to think what we'd save in there. Easy. It's possible. It's possible cutting two, two one or two sting beans for. I just have won so many games with Sting Bean Gatling. I, don't, I haven't gotten bricked by the Sting Beans yet. They've been fine. They've been just just a positive. The one game we lost was the one where we actually Gatling a Sting Bean. So I don't. I, that was kind of BS. But yeah, I, 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 if you again two Sting Beans for two Juggernauts. All in favor say aye. I'm definitely with you there. Uh, here's Neptuna. Here's Neptuna. Let's see if we can get a Blockbuster open here. I'm not gonna keep two against Neptuna though, like you brainstorm is very different. Alright, let's see what happens here. Uh -huh, uh huh, more chances of getting a turn four blockbuster. Let's go. So if our opponent passes here, I'll go with the forget me nuts. If not, you definitely go with the you go with this one. Where do we put this though? I guess you want your triceratops on heights. Doesn't really matter. You definitely don't front this. This is bullseye. Better. This doesn't look like a Gravestone, you know, it doesn't look like a deck that's gonna have Pogo Mug unless he's running Conjure into Pogo Mug Yeti, which I don't know. <sighs> Someday, what the hell? He's playing in my super too. Oh, what is man's doing? I don't, I don't know what the, this, what this guy is even doing, but this is the play here. Get him with the cheese. Cheese. Oh my gosh, look at this hand. He can't play a trick. He was going to protect this with something. I don't know what he was going to do. Plays Neptuna Super? I don't know what he's going to do. No, that makes sense. I don't like this. But this survives. And now we have a 3-5. A, a <laughs> this, so, this is so cool. This is just a, a combo that only Grass Knuckles can do. 
I guess beta carotene I can technically do. Do we let this hit face? What am I playing into? I'm playing into like a laser base next turn. I, I, I don't know, man. I think the three damage bullseye and this not getting scuffed by something on the ground, like counter by something on the ground, I think this is correct. I still wouldn't mind getting Blockbuster here. Just for safekeeping. I think so. <laughs> I think that answered the question there. He's like, nah. I don't feel like it. Trick Tuna. I've tried Trick Tuna. Fast games today. I mean, it's technically an aggro deck. I, you can call this aggro. You can call this tempo, too. I mean, uh, honestly, uh, in when the Guardian class, it's uh, like May Solar, you can say, call more aggro. But, like, the Guardian class, it's always a mix between aggro and tempo. It's probably more tempo, though. It's a tempo deck that wins fast. Or an aggro deck that sustains itself. I think those two things are the same. <laughs> those two look the same to me. I maybe should have kept that. I think we're mulliganing for some early game, though. This should be good enough. We should be able to draw again some cards into a turn 3 play. Especially if we get one drag here, it's absolutely can you play a one here? See, this is what I'm actually doing. I'm trading, that we win this trade. This is just this little thing from testing so many decks against this one, actually. <laughs> like, testing Brain Freeze against Grass Knuckles. I won that trade. It's a one for one, and my deck just became much better. I have five, three, co two cost three threes in my deck. <laughs> and look what I found, mommy. Look what happened. That one I'm gonna let go face does not give him any more value after it's already played. This deck's not looking too shabby, too. He has one one cost draw, three cards. It's kind of crazy. If he has to spend a smoke bomb, that would be fine. Good old two for one. <sighs> yes. Is Cliff me an aggro card or a tempo card or a control card? It's actually all three. It wins against ones on one. If you get two of them, it's a good tempo card. If you draw your second one, even after the first one dies, it's a tempo card. And it also just does a ton of damage if you get the second one. I'd say it's more of a tempo. I don't know, man. It's crazy. Yeah, this looks pretty good. <laughs> pretty, pretty damn good. What a play. I don't even need to draw cards. I'll do that later. Oh my god, I just can see, bro. My nose. That one up my nose. <laughs> Slow down. This is the legit control card on one. I don't care. What the? Huh? Oh, he's so annoying. That's a pretty good play. I don't have an answer to that. That's one of the things that Citron has, is like answers to, to Cowboy. I, there's no, really not much you can run in Grass Knuckles to answer this anyway. If they happen to play into like a plant food, that's good, but otherwise it's just... Take the L. He's not doing enough. He's going back to one and then making my other minions survive and hit his face? No. Wait. No, that didn't... Oh, it makes the cowboy survive. Okay. Alright. Oh my god. This is so much better now. The Holofora. The Tempo Holofora. Let's go. I'm putting this right here. Play another cowboy. That would be the best case scenario. Ah! <laughs> it's guaranteed lethal times infinity. Get freaking wrecked. I could have played Gatling too. It's the same thing. The very... The slow... Very slow gadget scientist. Got him. <clears throat> Two more games, guys. <laughs> his his cowboy was so good. I don't I don't know about that, Superman. See, I think you just don't spend the well, you're right, you wouldn't have a cowboy, so it wouldn't have really been useful here. I don't know. I think Space Cowboy sounds like a science card. This is my opinion. 
think they need to buff that. Next patch. Cowboy into Gadget Scientist. La la la. God rolling. This is a good deck. Stop making excuses, guys. This deck is amazing. Shut the hell up. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Is Talents really good against this? Oh, this isn't Talents. Talents kills this deck, by the way. That's why one of the reasons I banned Talents. Talents is a very unique deck. Like, you know, Neptuna and Brain Freeze. They have a lot of similarities. They're different. There are a lot of similarities. And Morticia and Brainstorm are less similar. The one that you really unique deck in terms of matchups was HG. Uh, that's why I banned it for the for the finals. I banned it. Also, so I can play Grass Knuckles. <laughs> Part of the consideration. Do I keep this? Is he running my is he running my, my garbage against me? What do we actually need to win this matchup? I think I'm keeping the blockbuster though, because I have pretty early cards right now. Is it tell him so or we're gonna lose? <laughs> Is this a is this a guy? Do we know this guy? Um, it doesn't really matter which lane this goes in. Maybe we play middle to make the blockbuster better. Very small consideration. Is this a Discord guy? Oh no! Oh no! We're so done. Is this a Discord guy or not? It is. Tryhard seems to know him. We're gonna get killed. This is not a good. This is a, not a good matchup, ladies and ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this sucks big time. Big time DDs. We have to just go as aggro as possible. I don't actually know how to win this. I don't think I tested this enough because I banned HG, so I didn't test against this. Maybe there's the key to um. I think I have to go after this. I don't know for sure though, man. <sighs> yeah, we had two bans in the tournament. So for the first half, I banned Brainstorm and Z Mech. And then I banned Z Mech and HG. I feel like my Guardian decks were really good against Brainstorm, anyhow. I think we might be able to pull off the. The quick victory here. No, don't do that. Don't. <laughs> Damn it. I didn't play around that. Well. Uh, okay. What do we get that's actually good here? This is fine, because it kills the black guy. It kills this one. It's just drawing too many cards. Should I deny him card draw? I don't actually know what my win condition is here. Uh, probably denying him a card is good. He still gets one here, though. Oh, I could have... Well, no. It's good to... Well, no, he doesn't have any tricks he can play. Well, he could have a two-class trick. Probably playing this actually later is better to deny and teleport. So I should have played this, because it does this. I don't think he has a trick here. Gosh, okay. So he draws from the amp. Let's trade. What is my. Okay, so maybe getting an amphibious Gatling and him not getting another amphibious minion is the way we win here. I think we just ignore this for now. Nice blockbuster, bro. Maybe him getting super milled is the way. Yeah, biddy do da. Yeah, biddy da. <laughs> Just keep the bullseye and then kill him with Gatling. I mean, maybe denying him a card so he doesn't get teleport black, uh, the toxic waste him. Mm, I don't know. One cost lurch, maybe we played around last turn. Could I have time to shine here? I don't do that. Hold me, I'm just buffing this better. Doing two damage to these guys and doing space blocks. Surprise, mother, mother, father! Oh my gosh, <laughs> the trades are real. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in decent shape here. Whoa, we might actually pull this off. 
We may actually pull this off. The amphibious Gatling, come on. He doesn't... No, he doesn't have anything to block this. We just need... And we have two damage. We'll have to see if we can break through this, though. Uh, we'll have to see if he gets it. He needs an amphibious move, too, you know. I think we're okay here, guys. I think we in, we in decent shape here. Okay, as long as two health would have made that a little easier, but we do have to slay him. So, this is their play. And then we go with this one. For a bullseye. So, even if he teleports this, there'll be two teleports, two imps. Uh, what about this guy? We do want to block. I don't know if the five is too much. Teleport blob. Oh, I'm gonna teleport blob bonus. Doesn't really do a damn thing here. Maybe we just block this one. Maybe we just kill the imp commander. It's it's time to shine or protect. They actually kind of both win here. I, I don't know. I'll play around a bunch of bonus attacks, I guess. I guess so. I'll play around double, double bonus. This plays around double bonus attack. Um, does it? Yeah, it plays around double bonus. Too. I think we're, we, we might. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? No, 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 no. How many of those? He got two. Okay, he's played two of them. So now, is he milled? Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no. Play one more. Okay. I mean, we should have him still. This still gets blocked. One more bonus attack will... No. No, did we get tell him? Let's go. <laughs> I'm happy about that one because that matchup sucks. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Holy crap. And you know what? Without Sting Beam, that would have never happened. That was the only way. We got we got most of our damage from that Gatling Fiend, the Amphibious Lane, and he just did not have... He had other cards to teleport, and he just didn't have another... A second Toxic Waste Knife. It killed the first one. And he just didn't have a second one. Let's go! Let's go! Damn, that was the highlight of the whole stream. Holy moly with that, with the pots and everything. I'll, I'll put that as the intro. I'll put that as the intro. Oh man, that's great. That's rich. Got him. That saved the run too. Oh, uh, we still have to win one more game for the bets though. We're up to we can we can call this a seven and two. This is technically this is technically a, a seven and two scenario here. Got him. <laughs> that was so scary. Game nine and double pot. Still win versus Telabs. Let's go. Got him. Got him. Got him. I know it's. I know we're eight and one, but we're one. We're in the deciding game. Seven and two has several meanings. Ooh, I think I need a second minion. Oh, this hand sucks. Okay, not good. I have to do this play. We have a sucky starting hand. So I mean, we'll, we got Hole of Forest. So that's good. I wonder if keeping that photosynthesizer would have been better. Probably looking. I mean, most of our cards are early game cards, so. I think if our deck, or if our curve was a bit higher, it would be different. Second, that's what I'm looking for. I mean, he'll, he can spend a lightning bolt. He always, he always gets us with cheese lightning bolt. No, he didn't have it. Even if he has evaporate, that's fine. It's still, I mean, that's still a one for one, and I'll take a brain off of him the next turn. This is fine. I'm gonna use this now because we do need a second game to play a Tricurita. Holy crap! So he's gonna he he didn't have a lightning bolt he would have played it so it's either backup dancers or or evaporate so buffing this one is is good against both of those can't play wrath this is actually huge this is actually tremendous now there's that that's the slow it slowed that was his whole turn three play he had to spend while I developed a a, 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 a tempo card. Yeah, I have the, the combos. I have Gatling on five, Gatling on six. Oh, I think we're fine here, guys. I think we got this one. 
It's got to be Bananasaurus Rex, right? The other play would be 1, 1, and 2. This would do 6 damage. This would do 6 non-bulls with 2 shots. It's got to be the B-Rex. We gotta keep this tempo game going. This would be 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> this is pretty strong. I can actually use this to finish him if I need some, some bullseye damage at the end, so we'll keep that in mind. Got him. It's a 50-50 of it as a lightning bolt. I mean, it's a coin flip, you know? I don't think I Gatling, because I want this to at least take some damage here. This is really awkward, but I think I'm going to Gatling next turn. This is such a cool play, too. Uh, so this one goes on heights. I'll empty this. I don't want him blocking and then killing this for free and doing six. I just feel like that's his way of getting back into this game. The Astro Shroom is pretty sweet. How much are we doing, too? We're doing, I mean, we did three, four, five, six, seven, eight bullseye. <laughs> that's pretty damn good, guys. Let's go! <laughs> I don't think, I mean, Dry, it was, do you think Dry Gatling is nonetheless better? No, nah, we're fine here. Uh, throwing opponents again, it's ranked, so you play against good people and bad people. Well, that, that Talons player, he was, he, was, he, was, he was playing fine, and he was playing the, I mean, he was probably sniping. I've only seen Tell Imsen ranked, like, like, three times in my life, so, and he uses the hard counter for this deck. Probably was a sniper. Is he going to concede here? I'll take it, man. This is too much, bro. <laughs> he's still... I can just play a couple minions and he's done. Get wrecked. The 9 and 1. Let's go. What did we lose to again? We lost to that trickster who... I mean, again, uh, he, he, he he gambled on and he rolled really, really well. That trickster deck. They got the trickster got us. We should have... I think statistically, at least at the end. I don't know what the early blocks were, but we should have won that. At least that turn. We had guaranteed. I mean, amazing. Freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. Again, uh, there's... You, you take out Sting Beans and put in Juggernaut. I don't even know, though. Logically, taking a couple Sting Beans out for Juggernaut makes sense. Practically, just the way games play out, and I can't necessarily explain it, it just seems like the Sting Beans just win so many games. <laughs> so many games are won on Sting Beans. Uh, so we got the 9 and 1. Congratulations. 64% uh, of you still voted for the 9 and 1. Ooh, so you guys have some faith. Congrats, I mean, Grats Knuckles is such a powerful hero, man. With time to shine and Bullseye and Gatling and Triceratops. And again, you can also adjust the amount of blockbusters. Going up to 4 blockbusters and up in this deck with the Bullseye and everything, you can take out 2 B-Rexes for, for blockbusters. I mean, we didn't end up getting a great blockbuster today, so maybe in ranked. This is probably like the ranked version, and you, you know what to mess around with for, for the tournament version. But anyway, guys, that was the next tournament deck. These things are kicking some ass as usual. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. Peace. This is for I.